Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my review of the Smartro SC42 Professional Digital Hygrometer Indoor Thermometer Room Humidity Gauge. It's got Pro Accuracy Calibration. There's the unit in front of you. It comes with a nice instruction, book, instruction booklet showing you all the different settings on there. First thing I'm going to show you is there is a sensor on the top. And when you go and you touch that sensor, then the unit lights up and allows you to see everything very clearly. And it's a really nice HD display. So you can see the top right there it has uh, the percentage of moisture in the air. It has an auto timer. And there's temperature in Fahrenheit. And there's the ranges right there in the last 24 hours. You can see 20 hours right there. So you can see it was high 70, low 51. And then the temperature was 78, low 65. So that's pretty neat. It's given me the last 24 hours of temperature changes. And then it has a little gauge there, you know, shows you what is acceptable for humidity. Um, so that you know it has percentages on there. So 50%, anything 50 to 30 is, is what's considered green. It goes higher than that, it's considered too high. So just uh, looking at this, let's look at the back right here. It has uh, different ways that you could mount this. You have very strong magnets on the top right here. And I could demonstrate that right here. I've got a steel plate. And uh, you can see it pulled my hand right there right to it. So that's on there. I mean, I could shake this all day. It's not going to come off. Very nice. They went and they put really strong magnets on the back of that. Another way is, is you can flip out on the back here and it becomes a nice little stand, as you can see right there. And then you can just keep the unit like that. And uh, that's probably the simplest way to do it. And then the other method is, you see it has this little triangle right there, and you can put a little tiny nail or screw in the wall, and you're all set. To push that button right there, that allows you to get access to the battery compartment to put your two AAA batteries in there. You can see it's got a set button, an up down button and you could change the centigrade to Fahrenheit right there. This up and down button allows you to change some of the parameters on here. The instruction booklet goes into all those details. Now let's go over some of the specs of this. Uh, let's see. It has humidity gauge with built-in industrial grade sensors. It detects su subtle humidity and temperature changes and updates readings every 10 seconds. Temperature tolerance is within plus or minus 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit and has a range of minus 4 to 158 degrees. The humidity is plus or minus 2% and has a range of 1 to 99%. Right now you can see it's at 69%. As you can see it has an easy to read backlit display with a touch sensor and that's a 3.5 inch display and it's in HD, it's very clear. Um, which I really like because I've had other units that aren't clear and you got to kind of stare at them and you got to kind of change the angle to see them. This doesn't have any of that quality. This is very clear regardless of the angle. You have a 24 hour uh, minimal max setting on there as I, as, as I showed it right over there. It says 24 hours is giving me the max minimum of humidity and there's the temperature right there. A, there's white applications for this. You could uh, use it to monitor, you know, anything in the room, a greenhouse, a garden, a cellar, a basement, any room or storage, even in the refrigerator if you want to uh, measure the temperature and humidity in the refrigerator, which is really nice because you want to sometimes test that to make sure your refrigerator is working fine. The monitor could also be manually calibrated to improve data readings. Um, I wouldn't do that because this seems to be dead on. It has a calibration certification from Aerospace Institute for meter meteorology and measurement technology. So you know this thing is accurate. And uh, to me, I have two other monitors and I put them side by side. And this definitely seemed to be the one that was the accurate monitoring. Now the manual does go into some detail about everything on here that you might want to do. You have that calibration right there, which I don't need. It. I don't need it because I think this is already right on. And it has um, how to change the high-low uh, settings to and how to reset them. 
uh, very simple how to change centigrade to Fahrenheit and where to put this to get the most accuracy. So it's very well written, very clearly written, has phone numbers, contact information of the company and they say if you have any questions or any issues just contact them on Amazon or using these methods including a phone number. And these days that's really rare to get a phone number. I really like that. So this is uh, very well written and it shows that the product is being supported by this company. So what do I think about this? I like this. I've had reviewed about five different monitors. This is the best one I've ever seen. The display is the clearest I've ever seen. It seems to be extremely accurate. A lot of flexibility in all the mounts on here. You've got three choices. So I like this product. I think you're gonna like it. It's very, very fairly priced for what you're getting. So I'm gonna give this a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.